Hi, this is Brendan Davis from Bedrock Games and the Bedrock Blog, and I'm doing a late night movie review of Vampire Cleanup Department, a 2017 film by Chui Sin Hung and Yan Pak Wing. Um, these late night movie reviews, they're not usually terribly accurate. I do them late at night. I find it amusing to, uh, to, to do these reviews. It's difficult to recap a film at 1240 for me, and so I enjoy doing it. I enjoy listening to it the next day, but uh, but don't expect perfection in these. Uh, so, uh, Vampire Cleanup Department came to my attention from a review I saw of it on the Silver Spleen channel, and it, what he said interested me. And and it, you know, I so I'm glad that I I ended up watching it. I, I ordered it, and I I actually had it on my coffee table for like a month. It's it's uh, I just now uh, was able to watch it, but I I had been hoping to watch it a long time ago. I just was so busy this month I didn't get a chance to. Uh, unfortunately, it's often the case. I, I will order. I, I have like stacks of movies that I, I have yet to watch, and I usually slowly work my way through them, <laughs> over oh, as I as I get opportunities. Um, but uh, but this is one that I had been meaning to watch for a while, and I, I enjoyed myself. It was fun. Uh, I'll, I'll explain sort of my thoughts on, on why I liked it, and you know you know what kind of film it is. But uh, but the 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 basic plot is about a, uh, a character named Tim Chung who is recruited into this vampire cleanup department and they're sort of a, uh, a vampire hunting organization uh, you know that's a wing of the government and they go back ages like they've been they've been around forever and he uh, he discovers soon after he's recruited that his, his uh, you know his parents were, were members he's an orphan like I said he's, he's been uh, raised by his grandmother but uh but his parents uh his parents were members and they died uh because of they were they were bitten by a vampire and the mother was pregnant at the time and so she gave birth to him just before uh they put her in the incinerator and and as a result he has special immunities to uh to the vampire bites and when he goes on one of his early missions he he meets a uh, a female vampire uh, later called Summer. When he first meets her, she's just sort of a, a you know rotting corpse and, uh, and and quite ferocious. But uh, but he uh, but you know through uh, a series of you know things that happen, he ends up kissing her uh, when he falls into the lake. She's a she's been trapped underwater for for some time. Uh, the the crew capture her, bring her to the department, and they they assign him the task of incinerating her, and then they go off to do something else. And he brings her home because he can't bring himself to do it. And she's she's a very charming sort of uh, uh, vampire that he he just he doesn't have it in him to kill. And and so uh, so the the movie is really kind of a, a love story between the Tim Chung character and the summer character, the vampire. And she's like she's a hopping vampire, so she kind of you know she got sort of like they're, they're the Gianchis, they're these uh, creatures, they're stiff corpses, so they 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 sort of stick their hands out and they can't bend their their elbows or their knees, and they hop around because they're like rigor mortis ridden, and uh, and over the course of the movie though she becomes more and more human, and you know the, that's one part of the movie. The, the looming threat in the film is this other vampire that uh, was uh, was sort of the the I think like the head vampire that that, that controlled her uh, or, or or turned her into a vampire way back when I don't I'm not a hundred percent clear on the backstory, but but anyways this is a looming threat that eventually uh, is unleashed and becomes an issue uh, at the climax of the film. But the other part of the movie is also sort of the master student relationship between Tim Chung and his uh, his uh, Shifu uh, Mr. Chow I think his name was. And he's played by uh, Chin Chin Sui Ho, and it's a uh, um, yeah. So it's a that's the basic plot. I don't think I'm going to be able to give you too much more than that at this hour. But but I I thought it was a fun movie. It it uh, it was a really sweet love story. Uh, you know, I, I would say this is much more heavy on the romance than it is on the horror. Uh, and it's got a good good amount of comedy too. Uh, I should say Lo Meng has a nice role. He plays sort of a, a munitions expert at the uh, the cleanup department, and and I, I enjoyed seeing him in this. Uh, you know, there's there's a bit of action because you know it's very sort of uh, you know it, 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 there's there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, action around the vampire hunting, but but the bulk of the movie I really think was about the um, 
the the transformation of Summer into a more human character over the course of the film. And I won't give away exactly what happens, but I think it's very it's very touching. It's very uh, it's it's a very sort of uh, sentimental love story, and by the end, it all I think it works really well, and I think that the um, I think that the the love story enhances the horror elements because you care about both the Tim Chung and the Summer character. You care about a lot of the relationships in the movie. You also care about the relationship that Tim Chung has with the uh, with 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 uh, his Shifu, and that you know creates all kinds of uh, uh, conflict, uh, and tension because he, uh, he, you know, he's, he, he is hiding this vampire, uh, and he's supposed to be learning how to become a vampire hunter. And there's also this added complexity from the, uh, this rival wing in the government. But I, 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 that's, that's too much of a, of a detour for the purposes of this review. Uh, some of the stuff that I liked about the film was the the opening sequence. It has sort of this light style of music that sounded a lot like the Sherlock theme from the BBC show, but it added, uh, it signaled the tone of the film. And I liked the the visual effects of the movie. I thought that the 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 main vampire looked pretty cool. He looked creepy, and uh, and it was effective. And it was it was uh, it was an interesting look. Uh, I thought that the 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 first mission that he went on he's sort of in this sort of swampy lake area and there's a vampire in a um coffin under the lake i thought that was quite interesting and i thought that the the scene where they first encounter each other was pretty funny so the you know she again she's sort of a just a stiff corpse when he first meets her and and it's and 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 it's and it's a really interesting uh scene because it's it's a it's it's played for creeps but it's also played for uh um for for humor too so you get you get sort of the spooky elements and you get the 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 funny elements which you know if you've seen mr vampire or encounters of spooky kind it's that you know that sort of thing um but much of the humor revolves around cell phone and uh and so eventually what ends up happening is he he uh he is slowly sort of uh, helping Summer to become more human, and her her movements and her mannerisms become less Jiangxi like and more human like. But she never, I don't think she ever really learns to talk, and and she's you know, and she you know, uh, but she but she does become like recognizably human by the end, um, and uh you know, and the and and so some of the things that I didn't like were things to do also with the effects there was there was and again this might be my tv i don't know but uh the the scene around the swamp early on in the movie i had a lot of trouble seeing what was going on and i think part of it could have been my my tv screen i'm not 100 percent sure but i i i was i was i so i i'm i want to put like a an asterisk next next to this criticism because I, I might just be reacting to something that was a product of my screen but if it wasn't it, it was really difficult to see and it was just it was just too dark it looked like they put a filter over the lens or something in order to simulate night and in a way you know it kind of made things easier to see but then in certain scenes it, i thought my eyes were were, were were failing me or i thought my screen was dimming it was it was very it was it was it was actually like maddening at times um but but then some of the other sequences look gorgeous. The underwater sequence was was beautiful. It was it was it was a really cool looking scene, and uh, and and just the you know the overall feel of the movie was pretty cool. Again, it's not it's not like my favorite movie. It's not it's not the greatest thing ever. But it's a nice uh, it's a nice uh, you know Hong Kong vampire film. It's um it's a uh, you know, again, if you've seen the the Mr. Vampire movies or anything, you know, in that genre, it's it, it's kind of like that. It's obviously more up to date, um, but but yeah, I, I had fun, and I I think that the uh, the the thing that really makes the movie work is the the the, the romantic storyline between uh, Summer and Tim, uh, and I think Tim's a real likable character. He uh, he's again he's kind of sort of he's sort of nerdy, but he's um, but he's, uh, you know, he, he, he transforms into a more heroic, uh, person over the course of the movie. And, 
and his uh his his shifu sort of takes miyagi methods of training uh, a little bit to the extreme i don't know you know is it it, it it strains credulity but it but it works and and uh and, and there's a number of other characters that are fun. There's uh, Richard, mm, whose name I'm probably mispronouncing, but who's a, a, a great actor that's been in a lot of movies. Uh, he, play, he, plays a, um, he plays sort of an elder uh, character in the organization who's also a bit of a mentor. And I, I really liked his character in this. I thought he was one of the, one of the, the more amusing characters. Um, and so, so, yeah, so it's... Uh, um, it was, it was, I, I thought it was a good movie. It was a fun movie. And it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm, I'm glad that I picked it up. I, I only saw it once. So I, I, this is my first impression of it. Uh, I don't think it's the kind of movie I'm going to watch a million times. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, this is not like, uh, my experience with Hero Shed No Tears or anything, but it's, it's a movie I'd, I will definitely be watching again at some point. Like I'm, you know, I'm glad I have it on DVD. I'll probably watch it, you know, in a couple of years or something when I, when I, when I start trying to remember some of the plot elements and I, I know there's some special features on this dvd so i might check those out too i actually I think i got it on blu-ray so I, but i might check out the special features and so uh so yeah so uh i i, I thought it was i thought it was a, a a lot of fun um you know some of the beginning bits there were a few parts where i was i, I was sort of deciding if i liked the movie so like early on and when the movie first opened, I was fully on board. And then it did start to lose me, I think, about 20 minutes in. But that passed pretty quickly. Once I realized what the movie was and what I was supposed to sort of be focused on, I was I was fine. But I sort of initially, I kind of thought the movie was going to be one thing. And then it sort of uh, took me in another direction. And so I... Uh, I, you know, I was, I was, I had a little bit of a moment where I was like, am I going to like this movie? And that, but that was brief. That was a fairly brief, uh, experience. And, and yeah, so I, I, uh, I, I, I would say if you, if you're a fan of, uh, if you're a fan of the Hopping Vampire movies, you probably want to check it out. Um, and if you're curious about the genre, you definitely want to see something like Mr. Vampire first. But this wouldn't be a bad movie to watch. I think I think it's I think it's a cool sort of uh, updated uh, film in the genre, and it uh, it, it and and I think that the uh, the you know the 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 effects on the vampire are, are definitely I, I I mean again it's late at night so maybe i maybe I wasn't paying as much attention to them as I should have. I thought the effects were good. Uh, you know sometimes I find. I, I don't have a clear handle on the effects until like a second or third viewing, but I thought the effects were good. And I thought, I thought that the, the, the cast was good. I thought that, uh, I thought that the physical performance, I, I've never, I've never seen this actress before, but the, uh, 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 Lin Min Chen who played summer, I thought that her physical performance was very good. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't know, you know, I, 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 I can't really comment on her acting ability beyond that because there, there, there wasn't a speaking role. Um, and, and there wasn't, a, you know, there, it was mainly sort of a very physical sort of, uh, you know, you know, a lot of slapstick, things like that kind of a role. But I, th- I thought that that was that the that the that the physical performance was was pretty entertaining. And and I and I liked the idea of I, I liked the the way that they used the uh, um the, the hurdle of having her always have to have her arms out, uh, you know, as a, um, as sort of a, a, a thing that, that she and Tim had to contend with, uh, as, as they were getting to know each other. And, and so, you know, there's, it, it was just a, I don't know, I just found it kind of charming and it kind of, it, you know, it was sort of in the spirit, of like the second Mr. Vampire, that sort of thing. Uh, so, so yeah, so, uh, anyways, that's, you know, I'm rambling at this point. Again, you know, late at night, late night movie review. But I had fun, uh, and I would, I would, I would say, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely, it's definitely uh, a, a, a movie you might want to check out. Uh, but I would say do so if, 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 if you've, if you've uh, seen movies in this genre and you like them. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that it would be for everybody, but. It's uh, but but I think uh, I think if you if you like movies like this, or even if you liked a movie like um, uh, 
like any of the White Snake movies, the Madam White Snake uh, film. So like something like uh, Green Snake or uh, or even the more recent one, um, uh, Sorcerer and the White Snake. Uh, you know, the, if if you if you if you found that kind of storyline appealing, uh, there's a similar type of storyline, but with the vampire here. And so there's even some scenes that kind of mirror some of the scenes in the the Madam White Snake stuff. So uh, so I think. Um, I, I think you know. There's, if if you if you like that sort of storyline, you might want to check it out. But uh, but again, it's not quite as you know. It's not quite as. Uh, it's a little bit more light fare. I I, I think I think that the the romantic story here, even though it uh, it becomes pretty uh, sentimental by the end, um, you know, it's a fairly uh, you know fairly light light. It takes a light hand. Um, so uh, so yeah so. I will let you go. I, uh, I and I'll be back on uh, on Wednesday with some more Babylon Five. We're also going to be doing the Shadow Whip on Friday, and I'll probably have some more uh, podcast stuff up during the week too. And all right, until then, I will talk to you later. Yeah!